Well, the rain has come in and apparently has no intention of departing here at the Parc des Princes. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon to help me describe all the action. And we've got action for you from the Champions League quarter-final. It's Paris Saint-Germain taking on Liverpool. Well, every player's goal is to get to a final of a Champions League, I'm sure, but there's another couple of legs to go before they get to the semi-final. Can you stay in the moment? Can you stay in the now? We're just about to find out. like this well we normally know going in how they're going to play Lee it's all about ball control possession what that does is get you up the pitch with possession and a lot of numbers around the ball the weakness of this is if you lose the ball you have to win the ball back early so there will be a high press following if they were to lose the ball in the opposition half when Liverpool play in the group stage it always has the effect of bringing the memories back. My favourite memory, Lee, old spaghetti legs himself, Bruce Grobelar, <laughs> on that final against Roma. Yeah, who can forget that? And I think Liverpool would love that to be happening again. They've got the talent, they've got the drive, they've got the hunger. Can they go all the way? Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting eleven. Joe Gomez starts alongside Virgil van Dijk in central defence. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And leading the attack today is the ultimate pressing machine, Roberto Firmino. And they kick off this Champions League quarter-final first leg. And a deep ball in. The cross is on. Good tackle. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Tremendous vision, he's really sliced them open. Now, will they do it from here? It's opened up for him. And that was a heaven-sent opportunity to take the lead so early. First goal is so important, Derek. Sometimes you're not ready. Well, you really must be ready this early in the game. Roberto Firmino. Here's Keita. And Buffon with a brilliant save. How many times have we seen him do that, Derek? Years and years and years. Nabi Keita. And Mohamed Salah now. And a goal, courtesy of Mohamed Salah. His side in front, to their delight. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Liverpool obsessed with finding a forward gear. Now, what can they do from this position? Salah! That is superb goalkeeping based on a genuine aerial threat. Well, sometimes I'm a bit harsh on goalkeepers, but that genuinely was a really good save. Henderson. Naby Keita. Tremendous vision. He's really sliced them open. And Sadio Mane finishes with aplomb. Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. 
Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. With the noses in front. And passing with a velvet touch. Corentin Tolisso. Opportunity to keep the flame of hope burning. And a PSG corner. And played short. Henderson. They've only gone and applied that finishing touch. It's a good delivery from the corner, and they think they've cleared it, but it's not. It's still in the danger area. Before you know it, it's in the back of the net. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. And it's advantage Liverpool going into the second leg of the tie. Well, they were good today, Derek, weren't they? Really dictated the tempo of the game. Control, possession in midfield, that's where you need to be in control. Bit of confidence going into the second leg, that's for sure. And a warm welcome to a place that really bounces on big European nights. We are at Anfield, the home of Liverpool. My name is Derek Ray, and with me is my commentary partner, Lee Dixon. And Liverpool have put themselves in a wonderful position ahead of the second leg of this tie in the UEFA Champions League. It is Liverpool against Paris Saint-Germain. Thanks, Derek. Welcome, everybody. PSG having all to do after the first leg. You just wonder what their attitude will be like, how they will respond. Everything seemed to go wrong in that first game. Lost control at the middle of the park. Didn't have enough potency up front. The defence wasn't too good either. Lot to do tonight. Looking forward to this game, Derek. tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team. High pressing. Well, high pressing, high energy. I played this system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham. It does not have work when it works well. Sometimes you can just get exposed to the back, but they've got it down to a tee, to be fair. Here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. The neutrals' favourite, Gigi Buffon, starts in goal. Marco Verratti starts alongside Adrien Rabiot in the centre of the park. And it's become less and less fashionable in the modern game. But it's two up front this evening. The Champions League quarter-final second leg commences. Now, what could he do here? Wijnaldum... That's effort, wayward to say the least, Lee. Well, it's all about his body shape. Look what he's doing. Rashford 
it in the middle. It had an invitation attached, but he couldn't avail himself of the opportunity. Well, just look at him. He thinks it's in just wide. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Good numerical situation. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, here's the replay. I'm sure the keeper will be looking at his defenders, but what can they do? It's a lovely strike off his laces in the back of the net. And the goal that was scored, well worth another look, Lee. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Will there be a tangible end product? Oh, he's knocking on the door. Just what the Liverpool fans wanted to see as they extend the lead to two goals. Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. Let's go back to the goal that was scored. <laughs> Roberto Firmino. Well, let's see, does he mean business? Can he make this move count? Can they cut up in the defence with the through ball? And it's gone in! Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. A chance to revisit the goal. Rabio. Fabinho now. Wijnaldum. Useful looking ball. He might profit from here, you know. Goal it is for Liverpool. Genius. It really is genius. What a finish. Well, we'll see this again, and it's inches from going wide. It doesn't hit, suppose it goes in. Keeper is distraught. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Sadio Mane now. And, for, and showing fine vision. He's got the right idea with that pass. And the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Now Zappa Costa. It's an excellent attack from PSG, but will there be an end product? And the cross not quite accurate enough. We have Rashford! And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, I just love to look at perfect technique, and you won't get any better than this. It's just a dream strike. Brilliant, brilliant effort. A chance to revisit the goal.
it is the final whistle and a victory over the two legs in this tie for Liverpool. Well, Derek, what confidence that will give them. A huge margin to go through into the next round. Played very, very well. That confidence, you can use that. You have to. It's like gold dust. Go into the next round with that confidence. Who knows where they can go?